So once you log in, the first thing that you can do is check out our See You Online activities. So these here is where you view all your online activities. So you can now search by what's here by these topics. So you could click on any one of these and any of the activities that are available will filter based on what you've clicked on. So for example, you can now complete your 10 hour activities online. So anything that's a part of one of our regular restricted learning destinations, you can now complete these activities here. So here they are, here's our review forms for the year. So what you need to do is select whatever activity you've been a part of. So we're going ahead and click start. To do this, you just need to then complete all the fields as you would when you complete something on paper. So we're just going to go ahead and put all these in. Hopefully you'll do it with a lot more detail than what I am, but I'm just providing a, an example for you. So you just need to upload any supporting documentation um, as you would if you were planning something by paper, you would be attaching your photos of you completing that activity. Then what you need to do is select this little button here that says that you, you've done this activity and you acknowledge that what you've done is, um, is correct and to the best of your knowledge. Then you click submit for review. So once you click this, you can't make any further changes. Oops, I mustn't have put something there. So I can't make any further changes to this and it will come up as activity and review. So what this means is that when you're in school, CUA coordinator next logs in, they'll then see your work. They have the opportunity to provide you with any feedback if that's required, or they will allocate the 10 hours. Once they've approved your work, your hours will be added to your dashboard. So you can go back into your dashboard and once your coordinator's approved it, it'll come up here as 10 hours. But be sure next time you bring your passport to your in-school CUA coordinator to, to ask them to then add it to your passport. Your passport is still always your main total of hours. So what you complete online will get transferred to your passport by your school coordinator.